Hello guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're talking about our energy centers, okay? So we want to start thinking about these energy centers and working with our energy. Once you learn that you have these wonderful centers and what they um, help with in the body, you realize that you can turn energy into chemical reactions within you that will then lead your body to a healing. So let's talk about this for a moment. So let's start with the first energy center around the sexual organs, reproductive uh, organs and stuff like that. If you're someone at the moment who is struggling in any area of your life in a sexual way, or you're struggling to have a baby, or you're struggling with something else in that region, what you need to do is you need to start putting your awareness on that energy center just uh, by the perineum there. You need to put your focus on it. Work with the energy center. Don't try and force it to do anything. Just work with it. Awaken it a little bit. Start to get to notice it a little bit. Just become so aware of it that you start to play around with the energy. You see, our body is an energy center. The one that I was watching a wonderful thing on Netflix called Our Universe, narrated by Morgan Freeman. And they said this wonderful thing where they said about a cheetah. He said, it took 13.8 billion years of energy to transform into this cheetah. From the one singularity, that energy that was created from that moment is the reason behind everything that we see that exists now. And I thought to myself, if there's ever a definition of the great God, the energy, that flows for us all, the divine presence, the, the field, the quantum field, whatever you want to call it, man. If there ever was a symbol for that, it was this. And that same energy runs through your body and it has vocal points along it called your energy centers. Okay, so working with your energy and explaining these energy centers, okay? So we work with number one. If you've gone through any trauma, sexual trauma, you're going to be blocked there as well. You want to start working with this area, working on opening, releasing, letting go, surrendering to that area. Just just play around with it, okay? Then we have number two. We're going into our more sort of um, digestive area, okay? So if you're struggling with IBS, other um, digestive symptoms, start working with this energy center. Again, focusing on it becoming one with it noticing it okay also guys if you guys are still watching here i have my free facebook group that is now available to join i want you to sign up we want to start a community here working together healing ourselves through energy work and meditation okay then <clears throat> i want us to then look into number three okay number three if you're someone who suffers with a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear and doubt and um and you struggle to sort of become pow your powerful self and take charge, you've probably got some blockages happening in number three. You need to start to work with this area. What we need to do is, again, just sit with it. Work with it. Start to work these centers. If you want to, um, you know, if you're someone who struggles to express himself, don't worry, I'm going to come back to the heart in a minute, but I want to jump up to the throat. If you struggle to express yourself, if you are someone who is really not, um, you know, who's, who gets sore throats a lot, tonsillitis, things like this, work with that throat center. Start to play with that energy. Notice it. As you start to feel your throat becoming hoarse, you start to see it, you know, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go into this. If you want a mystical experience, you need to work a lot with the sixth center there. If you want to feel, live a love of joy, peace, harmony, beauty, abundance, everything else, you need to work with that heart. We need to work on opening that heart. That center is your, let's call that center your main center, your focal point for all creation. It is the ultimate center for you. So we all want to work with our heart. We want to play around with it. You want to be playful when you're working with your energy centers. You want to not feel rigid. You don't want to feel like you have to force anything. I want you to have it as a joyous exploration into your energy center. If you're someone who suffers with headaches 
Again, you go to the seventh center in your head. You play around with that energy. You notice it. Take 20 minutes just to sit with one center, a center where you feel most of your issues are lying. If you're suffering with um, you know, pancreatic cancer, go to the center closest to your pancreas. You know, If you're suffering with migraines, go to the center in the middle of your head. If you're suffering with uh, feeling stuck in reality and feeling like everything's so boring and, and not vivid enough, play around with the sixth center and start to open up your mind to different dimensions and spirituality. If you're someone who suffers and doesn't feel love and life just feels... Uh, you always suffer with love and you have problems in your relationships, you want to work with your heart, you know? If your digestive issues work in the second centre and third centre. If you, if you struggle to be powerful and take charge in your life, work with the third centre. You see what I mean? But we need to sort of play around with this idea. That's why I'm a big fan of blessing of the energy centre because we're working with it. But one of the things I think is really powerful Let's say, for example, you've got a very um, specific issue in one of these areas of your body. Say, for example, you have a slow thyroid and you start to play, place your energy in your um, fifth center in your throat. You may want to add a symbol on top of this now. Add a symbol. Add a symbol of maybe someone on a running machine or something that feels fast like a rabbit and you can speed up your thyroid. You know, at the end of the day, it is all just chemical imbalance, energy imbalance. Remember, the same thing that it says in the Netflix documentary. We all started from a singularity of energy that stayed around and been changed through and in and out of form for billions of years. And now it's formed into us. That same energy can be moved, block, blocked, but it can't be created or destroyed. It can only be drawn into us. It can only be used to its full potential or not. When you block something, when you're not at one with it, you're not using it to your full potential so the system starts to lose its full potential. Okay, so energy work is really, really important. So that explains a little bit about how to work with the energy centers. Play around with them. Have fun with them. Also, guys, the energy of the people that you spend your most time with. That's why I want to create a community here. Please sign up to my Facebook group. It's free. I want to build it up. I'd love 10,000 members in this group in the next six months. And I want to do coherence healings. I want to do <clears throat> everything to help this community to become the best they can be. Free workshops, th free talks. It's just going to be a great area to connect. I want to build a community full of love, joy and creation. Let's do it together. Hope you have a great day, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share and subscribe. Comment below. Did you enjoy my video?